Good morning, it's Saturday the 7th of September and uh, sharp eyes will notice that I'm in Dover. This is my first and probably only foreign foray on the bike this year. I'm going across the channel for lunch with the East Kent Advanced Motorcyclists and I must say it'll be nice to get away from all the mayhem and roistering over elections and Brexit that's going on, on this side of the channel. It'll be lovely to get away. I'm thinking about those great French roads, those lovely back lanes, delicious croissants. In fact, it's getting near breakfast time, so I'm going to have to go in a minute. Um, my only final thought is, I wonder how easy it'll be to do this crossing next time I try it. You're responsible for your own riding. Don't get sucked into going fast. Ride at your own pace. We're in parts foreign, the French. The road system is brilliant. Motorists aren't quite so good. Signage is very good. surprisingly quiet French town of Aidan, despite it being a Saturday in early September, a lot of it looks closed up and there aren't many people around which suited us because we were able to get more than 30 bikers sat down and fed at two cafes virtually adjoining each other in that very pretty market square. Now though it's off for what we came for, the back roads of France. Most British motorists come to France and sit on the auto route. Well, they're fine if you want to get somewhere quickly. The Route Nationale, the RN, the major roads are also excellent. But for this kind of enjoyment, you can't beat a D grade. The D roads, they stand for departmental, local routes like this, they're well maintained, beautifully engineered, 
traffic free virtually and just a delight to ride so the best way is the highway and the d-way with some 20 odd bikes we're a big group on the road and it's reassuring to ride among people who because their Institute of Advanced Motorists qualified show a pretty good standard of riding. Uh, you don't have to worry about them, you ride for yourself and generally nobody does anything foolish so it makes a really enjoyable ride even more relaxing. Hats off to the East Kent Advanced Motorcyclists and thanks for your company today.